Trains in Saints Crossing were extremely important for business and transportation. Being in them was a luxury for some. For us, it was more of an opportunity, one we couldn't let pass. We got word that there was a train transporting money, so we gathered the family and started to plan things out. Yeah, it looks like it. What are you doing? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? What, we're gonna have a nice chat with no food? We got a chef and shit? We're not gonna cook? Who? Who was our chef? Furio? Oh, that's disrespectful. Oh, Furio, I'm Absolutely. sorry. You know what? Absolutely. You know what? Fuck all of you. How about that? Hey, Furio! Oh, you haven't made me a goddamn meal yet. How am I supposed to know you're a chef? Cesare said my food was fucking disgusting, and, and now <laughs> you're saying we don't even have a chef. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Okay, you I'm never hurt. cooked for me, so as far as I'm concerned, you're not my chef. No. When you cook for me, you can be my chef. John, he cooked for all of us. He cooked cannolis, yeah, where, he cooked the uh, pasta I fazool. I milked the cow, John. I milked, he the, milked the cow, John. During the day, I was busy providing I think that's something I do off the piano. Do you, think, you think I milk cows all the time? No, I did that to make cannoli cream from scratch. All right, we got shit to discuss. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Susan, what's the intel? All right, listen up. One of our contacts in New York has told us there's some money being transported from St. Denis to Blackwater. A few thousand dollars. The train's final stop is at Riggs Station, so we're going to need to plan where we're going to hit it exactly. There's going to be some civilians on board and some deputies. The idea is to make a move on the deputies and the transported money. We'll leave the civilians untouched. The law and the money are our targets here, gentlemen. John, I'm going to place you near Braithwaite Manor for us to drop off the goods once we've hit that train. Oh, and I got an idea for some disguises. You're going to love them. I hear it, I hear it. It's showtime, boys. It's fucking showtime. This was it. It was a moment of truth. Weeks of planning led to this very day. A single mistake could land us in the can. Burio was going to take lead on this one. Aside from being a terrible cook, he had a silver tongue. Mamma mia, pasta fazul. Right now. Be very carefully, okay? You are surrounded. 
by the ten amigos, okay? Keep your eyes on the guy in the front of top. Every move that you make next, every moment, every decision that you make in the next couple of minutes is going to decide hey, on the lives of everyone in this train. Get back on the train, homie! Back on the train! Back on the train! Back on the train! You, lady! Drop your gun now! Back on the train! Calm down! Sheriff Nelson, come closer to me! I am the one on the ground over here. Come a little bit closer to me. Look to your left, hermano. I'm the sheriff, okay? I want to talk to you. We are the team. You're surrounded. Put your guns down. I am behind you and I will shoot. Put your guns down. Right now. Thank you. Put your hands up, Sheriff Nelson. Come on, don't, don't push me. Why are you doing this? Are because we are starving. Him? We need comida. We need food. Okay. Turn face away from me. Now this was. Yeah, you, know, you said you were gonna talk, sir. Stop moving. No, face away from me. I can hear your voice if you are faced away from me. I want you to face now, you away from me. You talk to me like a man, sir. Not at all. Face away from me, ma'am. Okay, this is a direct command. Oh my Jesus Christ. Just relax. Everything is okay. Okay, relax. You are so bonita, beautiful, okay? You don't yeah, want to get yeah, shot. Whatever. You have a beautiful life ahead of you. You are a big, big time sheriff. You have a lot of things going for you, okay? You have a Look, career. Look, if you're just going to take sheriff's... This, 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 why are you doing this over medical bandages? Listen, we don't know what the fuck is on the train until There's now. no food. There's uh, There ain't no comida on the train. Well, now, okay, What we you say, comida? No, they don't have comida. No, you no. say comida, I love it. I want some comida. Oh, you guys are really hungry. Everybody in the train, sit down on one of the chairs right now. Mano with me. Okay, ma'am, what's your name? Why don't you go talk to your leader? My name is Kate. You guys don't need okay. anybody's name. Sir, why don't you and everybody okay. else just remain calm? Ma'am. Here's what we're gonna do, eh? I'm gonna pat everybody down to see how much money they got on them. I just wanna know how much. You don't have to give me anything until I ask you, eh? Hey, things gonna happen to you, okay? Oh, Relax. I think you need good, to huh? talk. You need to go and talk to your front man. I need you to be quiet, sir. That's what I need hey, you to do. And this is huh? not a part of the deal. You guys are changing the deal on us. Y'all need to relax. We had this one in the bag, and the money was given to us almost immediately. With the law disarmed, there'd be no way in hell that they'd tail us. We took off and went straight back to where John was at Braithwaite Manor. Yep, I see the man. I see the man. Hurry. <laughs> Fuck. My horse is all fucked. That was fucking amazing. Hey, you let's fucking go! Ay, 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 ay. It went smooth ay, beside ay, the ay, sheriff, ay, ay, ay. who almost made us kill everybody. What the yeah, fuck was seriously. that? Seriously. All right, all right. What guys, the fuck guys, was all guys. that about? We can continue talking about this, but let's move to the front of the mansion in case we see anybody come down the main road. Right? Just as planned, John was there waiting for us. He took the stolen goods off our hands and sailed across the lake to Blackwater. A successful job and a hell of a payday for us. There was no way in hell people would know it was us. Though there was one group, the Del Lobos, that had their suspicions about us. They even thought we were trying to incriminate them. And so, Things were about to get spicy. Furio was approached by one of them. They took his money and was told their leader wanted to meet with us. Not a smart business move. We aren't the law. We're not here to reinforce the law in Blackwater. We're here to do it when it's to our convenience, when people don't trust the law because they can't get something done with regards to the Randalls, with regards to uh, Renee, with regards to the Lobos, whatever. Then they come to us because they know we can deal with something like that. But we're no longer going to be doing this for free. And this Eric so, guy from the Del Lobos robbed me as well. Well, there you go. Now, now, now it becomes a problem because it's a personal thing. He's attacking, they're attacking us directly. He knew who I was. He specifically said, I heard that some people pretended to be Del Lobos. Apparently, somebody pretended to be Del Lobos and robbed the train, uh, according to him. But I heard it was the actual Del Lobos. 
And he said, I thought you might know something about that. And I said, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, pal. From all I heard, it was you guys that did it. And like, congratulations to you. What the fuck do I care? Like, I don't understand what you're talking about. But more or less, yeah. he said that they've already been wanting to have some sort of a meeting with us. Thieves Landing. A lawless town home to criminals and outlaws. The Del Lobos included. This new Austin Mexican gang was known for their brutality and ruthlessness, with the most violent and well-armed individuals at its helm. We were about to meet these people, and if things went wrong, then it would surely mean a war. They called up a meeting at a nearby ranch. Something was off about this. Spread out. We also brought them a dead wolf, or a lobo in Spanish, as a sign of saying we ain't strangers to a good fight. Gentlemen. Hola, hola, senor. How's everybody doing? I am... Um... Apologize for the uh, little dramatic entrance. Uh, we just had to kind of make sure that, you know, there weren't other third parties around the area. You know what I mean? Understandable. We did, we did the same thing too, just in case, you know? Of course, of course. Precautions, you know? Precautions. See. Si. Mm. So I'm assuming you got our telegram, senor? Now, for the understanding of this meeting, what are we wanting to get down first? In terms of business. Well, you call the meeting, so I'll, I'll let you, I suppose, bring to us what you want to talk about. Now, what I want to understand is, uh, I've been hearing a lot of stories, me and Migos. Uh, two of them, Julio and Carlos, exactly, they've been held up by uh, some white hats, you know, you know, mm. harassing my men, telling them where they've been. In terms of some sort of train and a robbery and all this other stuff that goes on. If you're a man of dignity and all this other stuff, can you please tell me a little bit more about what you've been hearing about when it comes to the trains? Because the last time I checked, none of us were yellow. I told you. We had nothing to goddamn do with this train robbery. And here you are, persistent, huh? You're a persistent guy, eh? You robbed the train. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't understand where you guys are, like you, you got a hard on well, to cause well, violence well, against us. Uh, peaceful chingo, people. They don't have the balls Ten to admit course. to it, senor. Admit the fucking what? Why don't you come and say that over here, huh? Hey, get over here. Uh, chingo, I have my doubts. These guys are criminals, even. No, there's something definitely. Who, who more is that that keeps blurting those things out? The <laughs> guy in red, I think. This guy right here. What's his name? The guy that, that looks like he's in pajamas. Hey, Julio. Hey, you go, that's why. Nobody tell you boys this was a business meeting when you're doing over here in your fucking pajamas. Hey, 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 okay, gentlemen, let's start, look. Let's start resolving these goddamn problems, Rafael, before we start creating more, because I'm already getting goddamn hurt, believe me, and it ain't fucking good when I get angry. So okay, listen. Okay, of course, of listen. course, I understand. The train all right, robbery. then let's go with this, all right? You give us the information in terms of who exactly it is, all right? And I give you Julio, but all I'm gonna say what is just that Julio is my eyes. That's all that matters. Julio's my eyes. No matter what I, I might be, you know. Put that down. Oh, easy, 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 easy. You really want to fucking do this? Yeah. We might, we might, senor. Of course. You know what? I'm getting a little tired of this fucking meat, huh? It's making me a little tired. How about you guys uh, say good night, hmm?
White hits. We got white hits. Stick together, stick together. Stick together, stick together. Do not separate, do not separate. We're going left, we're going left. I'm the ammo. Where's Furio? Right here, right here. Stick together. Where's Louis? Whiteheads, they shut us up. Careful. They're on the roof. There's one more. Come on, Louis, come on. Watch out! down. There's one more. Careful, there might be one more. It was fucking drawing on her. One out, of them is out, one of them out is right now. Out in the fucking open. Out in the fucking open, right now. <laughs> Don't run. Clear the spot out. Stop him, boy. Trust me, you fucking cocksucker. You're dying a fucking slow death. Sonny, you guys make the call, but I'm always the one with this opinion. I think we should just fucking kill everybody, or we're gonna go to prison. But I'll let you, I'll, I'll back you guys up, whatever you want to do. At this point, we're going to fucking prison if we this save the White Hats. This is all on you right, so now, This guy's dead. I'm putting him in the dead pile. I'm you sorry. Got a dead pile. He had to come to this unfortunate <laughs> circumstances. You motherfucker. You shut us up. You fucking rat. I knew it was you. Things got out of hand in a split second. The law was in on this, and the De Lobos had sold us out. The problem now was that we shot a fucking sheriff and a deputy. We had our backs against the wall, and it was a matter of time before we were put behind bars. We burnt the bodies of the dead and left the law to be treated. Something wrong? How about you back off? 